I thought about rebooting this vlog and casting myself as a black woman, but then I realized that there would be no way anybody would ever audition for a role that is so white that it would make Lincoln Chaffee look cool. And that is political humor at its finest. There is no doubt that I will be labeled a social justice warrior, but I would like to take a moment to talk about representation, which will obviously lead to me getting laid. While I was at NerdCon, Dylan Marin told a story, which I'm most likely going to butcher right now, but just imagine that it's being told by a much more talented and attractive guy with a darker complexion and cute dimples. I have much better glasses though. Now Dylan would grow up to be the voice of Carlos in Welcome to Night Vale, but as a kid, he loved Home Alone. Smart kid, though it did develop a lifelong hatred for Joe Pesci, but that's a video for another time. So imagine his excitement when he discovered that they were making Home Alone 3. It was an open casting call, and any type of ethnicity was welcome to come and try out to be the kid who would terrorize petty criminals. Which, side note, I kind of want the movie with Kevin as a grown-up who has now become a sociopath, which I guess is just American Psycho. How the auditions worked was that a group of children would be up on the stage and you were instructed to either go behind the curtain if you were selected to go on to the next round or go out the front of the theater if you were not. Pretty standard stuff, but Dylan noticed something. All the white children were being invited to go behind the stage while all of the ethnic kids were being asked to walk to the front of the theater. The illusion of inclusiveness was very self-evident to a small child. I use that story as an example to show how hurtful it can be to be excluded. Now everyone probably has some sort of example of this in their lives, being picked last to be on the baseball team, not having your phone calls returned, being the very last person to understand what Netflix and chill means. I swear to God, Albert, I didn't know. Now if we zoom out, let's imagine that neither you nor anyone of your race was really ever invited to this party that we call entertainment. And we call it entertainment because institutionalized racism just doesn't have the same ring to it. As a white guy, I've got it pretty good because I've been represented in media for hundreds of years. We've had the opportunity to have very complicated and engaging characters, along with quite a few buffoons. When we prevent people from showing their humanity, we begin making assumptions. That guy can't be a romantic lead because of his skin color. She can't be the lead of an action franchise because she's a woman. That guy can only be the supportive best friend because he's gay. And that can extrapolate to the real world, where our only frame of reference for different cultures, genders, or sexual orientations are these caricatures that make them the other. At best, they're just so different that we can't possibly understand them, and at worst, they're simply our enemies to be hated. Stories, both fiction and non-fiction, allow us to encounter people that we may not have the opportunity to encounter on a daily basis. They make it so that it is easier to empathize and understand those that are different from us. When we don't have representation, we rob everybody the chance for truth. And I can assure you, whether I'm Netflixing and chilling or listening to a podcast, I can handle the truth. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle. I upload videos every Thursday. I also every week kind of co-host a podcast called Whatever This Is. Links to that and all my social media are down in the description below. What's the last great podcast that you listened to or the last great book that you read? Let me know down in the comments. A place where you can represent yourself in any way possible and also disagree with anyone in the most passive-aggressive way.